All right, well, this weekend, thousands of local and international athletes will gather in the Mother City for the 2017 edition of the Cape Town Marathon. Now, with the race being South Africa's and Africa's only IAAF gold label marathon, it's sure to be nothing short of spectacular. And to give us a glimpse of what we can expect from this weekend's race, Olympic silver medalist Ilana Mayer joins us this morning with the biggest smile on her face that I've ever seen in a while. <laughs> Good to have you back, Ilana. How are you? No, fantastic. You know, really... I'm um, excited. Um, you know, it is a dream coming true, you know, with um, the Sunlam Cape Town Marathon this year being awarded the IWF gold label um, system. Yeah. Um, so it really is fantastic. And of course, a lot of pressure that comes with it as well, because there's a lot that needs to happen on the day to ensure that that gold label is kept up with. So is the city ready for the showpiece? No, absolutely. I think, you know, Janet Wellam, um, the race director and the team worked really hard, you know, the last year we've all put a huge effort into this year's event so you know so and I feel a little bit like you feel before a big race yeah, you know you're yeah, nervous yeah. you're excited <laughs> you know and just hope that everything comes together on the day yeah. but you know the work's been done the table's set and we are expecting fireworks on on set uh, tomorrow and on Sunday of course exactly and I'm sure all the fans and supporters are also expecting fireworks and a great spectacle so take us through the journey the 42 kilometer race and where people should be careful of of course we want to as the citizens of the city help to maintain the gold label uh, that the marathon has earned yes absolutely you know it will be fantastic the race starts in Beach Road um, you know then running along the ocean for the first little bit mm -hmm. um, turning right into Helen Zussman um, you know, through the city, you know, up Long Street, a little a gradual climb, you know, past the gardens, down Plain Street, um, you know, getting onto Main, you know, all the way to Newlands, round Rondebosch Common, uh -huh. you know, heading back via Lisbeck Parkway, through Pardon Island, and then back to the city. You know, there's lovely spectator points along the route, you know, people can go and watch, you know, at Michael's um, Cafe um, in Campground Road. You know, at um, Ronnebosch Common, oh, yes, you know, back in the city, these Battle of the Bands, you know. So we really invite the city to come and be there, be yeah. part of this, um, you know, first ever um, gold label event, be part of this historic event. On the African continent, of course, people can also go to the website to take a look at the major road closures. But another great achievement of this year's team, um, Cape Town Marathon, is the fact that it's going to be a climate neutral event. What exactly does this mean that people are going to be running green? You know, so we, um, we, we urge people to take action, you know, to take the pledge and say, I, I want to run green. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, ask them not to litter, to not throw the plastic bags, uh -huh. you know, chuck it in the bin, um, you know, and then to also offset their carbon footprint, you know, by um, purchasing green pops um, credits, um, you know, so that we really maintain um, a green and carbon neutral, climate neutral yeah. um, event, you know, so and leave no mark behind. Yeah. Well, listen, I've got to congratulate you once more, along with the team from the Cape Town Marathon that have achieved this extraordinary uh, mark uh, on, on the sporting calendar. And we hope that it continues to go on and on and on for many, many years to come. Good luck for this weekend. Thank you so much. Well, if you're looking for more information about the Cape Town Marathon taking place tomorrow and on Sunday, information is on the screen, and you can also uh, check out their social media platforms for details.